It's not something you see every day, and it caught one Nanaimo woman by surprise. Looked up the road and, and saw this this truck, and it, it honestly took my brain a while to wrap, wrap around what I was actually seeing. She was driving to Costco along the Nanaimo Parkway when she saw the massive tree in the back of a logging truck. That's a really, really old tree. And, and how old, how many hundreds of years old is that tree? And how long did it take to grow and, and get to that size? Teal Jones Logging confirms with Glacier Media they are not involved. It's not clear where the giant old growth cedar came from, but she immediately thought of the anti-logging protesters near the Ferry Creek watershed. It was just a slam in the face. It was like, holy cow, this is, these are the trees these people are out there trying to protect. Maybe not that one in particular. I don't know the provenance of that tree. It may be old salvage. I don't know, but that's what they're saving is these trees that are that huge. Her post rapidly grew attention. Most people are, are, are concerned and, and think that we need to do a better job of protecting. The Ministry of Forest Lands and Natural Resources says its staff is investigating and in a statement adds, it's illegal to cut down exceptionally large trees. We introduced the big tree regulation in June 2019 that includes penalties up to $100,000 for a contravention of harvesting exceptionally large trees. In this case, the tree appears to be salvaged from deadfall or cut quite some time ago. But ministry staff will investigate to determine its origin. If we don't take care of these trees, then we're just standing by and watching someone shoot the last photo. These are going to end and we won't have them again. Beecroft says she hopes the picture draws support for the protesters. And, and simply that we do a better job of being stewards and protecting these priceless resources. Elena Kelly, Glacier Media, Victoria.